I'm here today because my very best friend is getting married to the man of her dreams. And boy, does she make a beautiful bride. <clears throat> First, I'd like to congratulate the bride and groom, and thank you all for coming. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Becca, and for those of you that do, I apologize. <laughs> Bartender, I'll have the usual. You can just set the box of red wine beside the chair. <laughs> I thought long and hard about what I was going to say about Melissa. I've known her a long time. Eleven years ago, she walked into my life. Melissa and I had heard about one another in and amongst our circle of friends, but hadn't actually met. And on the day that we did, I'll never forget her sitting on our friend Sean's couch with her Molson Canadian bucket hat on her head, <laughs> with a shut up and fish book in her hand. <laughs> now, us both being of the tomboy nature, Melissa looked up at me with one brow wave raised, and I believe we knew exactly who the other was and that we had heard so much about and were in some friends. Over the years, uh, we have come to know one another so well, uh, we have an understanding that goes beyond words. Shortly after Melissa and I met, as some of you know, I was in a car accident and broke my left femur. Uh, Melissa played a huge, <laughs> I'm totally shaking, played a huge part in my life at this time. She made it possible for me to recover from the accident while still raising my two-year-old daughter, who is now almost 14. <laughs> this Melissa, is my kid. <laughs> Melissa, <laughs> <laughs> Melissa took me. Oh no, that's the place. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa took me into her home and carted me around in her window office that cornered, a.k.a. her ranger. She made me her secretary while we drove around all day delivering car parts in her delivery business. Words cannot express the appreciation I have for the special memory, memories of our first years of friendship, <coughs> as well as all the, the many that came after. She was truly a saint. Melissa is the one person I know that can make me laugh till it hurts. I have a lot more funny and embarrassing stories about her, but it's her special day, so I'll be very good <laughs> 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 I've only known for about three years or so, but for the last five months we've all lived together. I don't have as many embarrassing things to say about him as perhaps Terrence or Brian have, but uh, uh, one thing I do know is he fits right into Melissa's family. I think Melissa's dad, Steve, likes his table manners. <laughs> has competition at the dinner table now. <laughs> Scotty and my daughter also have a competition going, a stink competition. If you need to use the facilities at our house, I recommend you go before them or way after them. <coughs> um, Scotty, I know you make Melissa truly happy. We are proud to welcome you to the family. Unfortunately for Melissa, if you two ever get divorced, We'll have to say goodbye to Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Andy and Steve say he's a keeper. <clears throat> um, today we celebrate the most sacred of all arrangements. I congratulate <coughs> Melissa and Scott on your precious and lifelong journey. I commend each of you for the courage and taken for both of you to find one arriving and join as one. It is with the greatest of joy and honor that we celebrate along with you both as you embrace in a very serious love. My wish for you today is that the love will continue to flourish and that those of us here today will be inspired to renew the love in our own lives. Melissa and you, I have found a friend, a teacher, a nurse, sorry, a therapist, a comedian, and a partner in crime. <laughs> <laughs> most, most importantly, a soul with whom my own feels at home. Over the years, your presence in my life has impacted me greatly. You're unlike anyone I have ever met before. I'm like 13. Mm -hmm. Scott, your bride is a gift to you. You are asked to love this woman so that she might find herself as she was created, so beautiful, strong, brave, and true, that the entire world may be blessed by the presence of a woman who shines so, that she may relax in your arms, and know that from this day forward there is one who she can depend on forever. I know the two of you are a perfect match for each other. Raise your glasses. Melissa and Scott Fleming, I hope you both have a long and happy marriage. I love you. Way to go, Becca. <laughs> Way to go, Becca. It's beautiful. Thank you. Anyone else wants to say I think the best man should say something. It's about time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you all. Thanks, so Danielle. Much. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Now this, yep. so you you. <laughs> yes, Scott. Well, I would like to say thank you to everyone that has come near and far. Thank you for coming out on this special day of uh, most of my, uh, myself. Uh, this has been wonderful. Thank you very much for coming out. It's been a, it's been a blessing for sure. Thank you. Thank you, all of my friends and family who have all come together to make this all happen. It wouldn't have happened without pretty much all of you guys. So thank you very, very much. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Sorry, they're <laughs> mine. <laughs> 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 